Where are we? On uh, the beach in Tolo. I'm not sure what it's called, this one. You look like a tangerine. Thanks, dude. <laughs> so we're in Tolo, Greece. Tolo in Greece. Yeah, there's other Tolos, isn't there? No. Tolos in other countries? I have no idea. Yeah, you've got to get the right Tolo. Maybe Spain. Maybe Tolo in Spain, yeah. But we're not there. We're in Tolo in Greece. And we're going to walk up the beach and then walk down the main street just to show you around a bit. So let's have a look. So Tolo in Greece, very good. Um, on the mainland of Greece, in the Peloponnese, near the town of Naflio, which is near Argos, which is about two and a half hours drive, no, about two hours drive from Athens airport. And it's not really on the main tourist trail for international tourists, but really it's more for domestic tourism. And as you can see, it's very popular. Let's get down here, out of Sunbed Central. Very popular with the uh, rich Athenians and people like that. So, or not even rich Athenians, just people who live in the city who want to come to the sea. Now, good thing about Tolo is it's got a nice sandy beach and it's in a nice bay. If we stop here and just pan round, you can see it's in a nice bay and it's got a couple of little islands. This big thing is an island as well. It's got a little island with a church on and things like that and loads of places to sit on the beach in your sunbed on your sunbed yeah on your sunbed get the preposition right andy on the sunbed and um sit here and relax and very easy just to jump in the sea and cool off which at the moment isn't a bad thing because it's like 30 something degrees 36 degrees or something so yeah, so we're going to walk up here a fair way and then we're going to come back on the other street. So it doesn't... Tolo's also really popular with expats as well, apparently. And there's a few people that choose to come to live in Tolo, a few international types that choose to live in Tolo um, year round. So whether you're looking at Tolo for a holiday or somewhere to buy a holiday home or somewhere to come and live or you know maybe you know looking for an expat community in Greece if you want to come and live in Greece then Tolo is a destination that some people come to right so yeah so if you're coming to Greece to live or if you're coming here on holiday um, Tolo is quite a well-known little destination although it's not really high on the like I say on the international tourist list it's mainland Greece um, there's a lot of advantages about being on mainland Greece for a start you're not reliant on the weather to make the ferry um, a possibility if you live on an island you know when the bad weather comes in which let's be honest it's not very often in Greece then you're kind of limited but really you know you don't you don't get that on the mainland and it's easy to drive places as well driving to Athens from here is only two hours on some good roads on some toll roads which are pretty good you know and it's all right, I'm not gonna stand on the sand castles. I'm not that type of person. What do you mean I am? I don't go around, I don't go around standing on kids' sand castles. What kind of a person do you think I am? I've seen you do it. No, you really haven't. <laughs> She's lying, it's all lies. So anyway, the Tolo thing with the sandy beach um, makes it quite popular because 
there's not many beaches in this area actually that have sand on them so personally i don't see what the attraction of the sand it's only very very small rocks uh, I uh, beaches. you do don't yeah. you yeah i, I do as well sand everywhere, don't yeah you? Don't, you don't get sand in your bits do you with pebble <laughs> beaches so what is there to do in tolo let's have a look oh let's have a look here Tolo water sports yeah so we've got all sorts of things bananas flat rings fun for 35 euros water ski wakeboard sup don't even know what that is that jet ski the water ski so, so 35 there you go why where's the jet ski water ski no that's water skiing oh okay yeah that's like skiing on water not jet skiing which is like a jet ski so yeah so that's all cool sea kayaking was all right it's quite nice out there on the kayak today the only thing you got to be careful of of course is being sunburned because particularly if you're from england lily white skin in this sun has a burn time of about 35 minutes until you're medium rare and after 45 you're particularly well done so um yeah so when you get to the end of the beach right at the end of the beach there's a bit where you can bring your own deck chair and you can put it down and there's room to spread out a bit more the sea is really good here it's got some little changey huts and it's actually got a beach bar further up here as well which we're going to go to and you can see it's quite popular but for the rest of the beach for the rest of the beach you do need to rent the sunbeds so if i go and stand here i can show you this quickly so from here pretty much all the way down to the far end there if you want to sit on a sunbed or sit on the beach there's not really a lot of room to bring your own you you have to really hire somebody else's or buy a drink or sit there or 10 euros a day kind of thing so you're better off you're better off coming up this end of the beach you're better off coming up this end of the beach and uh, bring in your own if that's what you want to do and of course if you don't want to then um, you can just use one that's already provided for you very nice so we went out with this guy his kayaks earlier they're very good 10 euros yes that's very very good kayaks here and we went out just over to the island out there and then back again took us about an hour and a half so 10 euros 10 bucks each kayak very good for an hour for an hour for an hour yeah and uh, they've got little boats and jet skis and all sorts of things paddle boats pedalos pedalos paddle boats Pad pedalos with slides on they have yeah, so you can paddle your boat out into the sea and then slide down the slide into said sea. It is certainly tourist central. But there's a lot of people here, isn't there? Yeah. You know? I mean, it is very much... very much a touristy kind of place. It's nice if you want a bit of life, because we're used to it being Ooh, very, really very quiet, over. aren't we? Yeah, but well... I quite like having a little bit of life for a day or two. Yeah. Personally, I'm not so bothered about it. If I'm coming to the That's beach, you're a grumpy old man. I am a grumpy old man. I'm a grumpy old man. Yeah. And personally, if I go to the beach, I don't like anybody else to be there. Including I'm selfish. Me. Including me. Well, maybe the wife's all right, you know. But I'm quite selfish with beaches. I'm quite selfish with beaches. I don't want anybody else to be there. I want it all to myself. No chance on this beach, but still, you know, it's quite nice. I mean, the sea, yeah, the sea's like 20 degrees. So it's not baking hot, but it's cool enough to get in and cool down. I was going to get in the sea, actually. 
try and find somewhere. Uh, yep, all right. Right, yeah. We're going for a for a refreshment up here. Yeah, bring shoes, the sand's really hot. <laughs> Tanya's running. <laughs> oh yeah, it is really hot. <laughs> that was really hot. I'm just gonna sit here. This will do. Yeah, so uh, last night we stopped for some food here. Da, da, da. I don't even know what this is called. What's this called? It's um, Trapea. Trapea. Yeah, Trapea. Trapea Oh. Your 50, the latest 50th birthday present. Yeah, it was really good. Um, what did we have? Uh, we had, we had, we had uh, Greek greens. It wasn't a horta. I think it was more like samphire um, that you get in the UK. And we had beetroot salad. And we had, another thing we had? Small fish. You had your fried small fish, which I don't not keen Gavros. on. Gavros. Yeah, Gavros. Um, and I had grilled um, squid, which was very, very nice. What was the other thing we had? Oh, um, marinated small fish. Marinated small fish, um, so like anchovies and some other bits and pieces. And then we had <laughs> we had boiled courgettes with olive oil and lemon on, which was really good, and a beer each. It's all very delicious. Yeah, and, and it was so good. We're coming back tonight for fish soup that yeah. you have to order 24 hours beforehand. Yeah. So yeah, get your order in. Yeah, he showed us the fish that we'd have in our soup tonight, so quite excited about that. Yep, yeah, even, even bought the fish out and said, you're going to get these ones, all right? We were like, yeah, they look lovely. Anyway, so, yeah, this place, I can't even pronounce it, <laughs> but it's blue thing, yeah, next to this jetty, yeah, near the island. That'll do. Back in a minute. Yeah, so this is one of the other really popular um, little tavernas right on the beach. Uh, Romney, I think it's called. I'd probably pronounce that. Probably pronounced it completely wrong, but quite busy, isn't it? It is very busy. Let's have a look. It's named after that island, looks it. Oh, it's named after this big island here. Yeah, another little taverna. And Bob's. Don't know much about Bob's, but it looks all right as well. Looks good for drinks, Bob's does. Yeah, so let's have a walk along here. Funny thing, when I come to the beach, I sort of develop a really slight Australian accent. Now, I don't know why that is. I'm not, I'm joking, I don't really. I just, um, I just speak like a moron, which is more like it, really. Yeah, but it's pretty hot, isn't it? It's really hot, actually. It's nice. We like it. What what date is it? It's the 23rd of July today. Ah, the 23rd of July. Yeah. So we're not quite in the peak season, August. No, not yet. But we're a couple of weeks before it. But most of the sunbeds are taken. How many sunbeds do you think are here? Oh, well, I have absolutely no idea. Too many. Too many <laughs> sunbeds. Too many sunbeds. It's a bit busy for us, isn't it? It is a bit busy for us, really. But it's still nice to be away, so. It is still nice to be away. There's an Adam kayak to earlier. Oh, yeah. Coronisi. Coronisi Island. Yeah. Very good. Or maybe Coronisi, I don't know. Coronisi or Coronisi? I have no idea. No idea. There wasn't a lot there, really, was there? Well, no, but it was just, it was more to go for a kayak, wasn't it? We rented a kayak for 10 euros each. And oh, I just stood on somebody's Andrew. ice cream cone. And uh, yeah, kayaked over there and kayaked round, didn't we? Went over for an hour and a bit, which was nice. Yeah, that's quite good, wasn't it? You fell out of your kayak. I fell out of the kayak, which very, is fun. Very funny. Yeah, wasn't even, I was, only, I was only in it for about 30 seconds and then suddenly fell out of the kayak. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. 
before they get out of the kayak. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> and um, what else have we done? Uh, ate food. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're having a relaxing weekend this weekend. I'm, yeah. under, I'm under orders not to uh, not to plan too much in. Yeah, don't be planning too much in. All right. No planning. Okay. Uh, right. Along the front? Okay. Ah, there's a changey hut there. Ah, uh, yeah, and then the battery went flat. So here we are on the balcony of our hotel looking down the back street in Tolo. So this is one road back from the beach. And you can see it's not so busy. Uh, it's quite nice actually. Lots of little shops and restaurants and things down here. and. You know, and not antique shops, uh, like gift shops, and then this is us driving out on our last morning. Um, we had a fantastic time in Tolo, actually, even though it was really, really busy. But it is high season; it's quite close to Athens, so it's kind of understandable. Um, and uh, weather was excellent, as you would expect in this part of Greece at this time of year. Uh, and yeah, we decided to get an early start out the next morning. So this is about 10 o'clock in the morning. And we're just driving through the, uh, the back end of Tolo on our way back south, basically. So, yeah, very good. So right at the end of uh, Tolo, you've got the municipal car parking area near the port. Um, road comes all the way through Tolo and then you end up here or is it up there I don't know I don't know what it is anyway so let's go and have a look at the port this is right at the north end of Tolo I think I don't know yeah might be do 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 just a little uh, a little fishing boat port up here and um, it's amazing how quiet it is when you get up this end and actually if you want to escape the madding crowds madding I don't know why they say madding I, I like maddening makes me go mad anyway loads and loads of people which down there is you know it's quite busy at the moment but if you want some peace and quiet then uh, get yourself up this end of the port area and uh, suddenly 100 yards past here there's actually uh, nobody up here I'm not going to walk all the way up there because there's nobody up there but there's some benches up there that you can sit on and escape from people can't you Tanya? You can, that's what we did earlier that's what we did earlier isn't it? 15 minutes 15 minutes of sitting there very very quiet right Let's get back on the beach. Yes, yeah, so that's a quick walk around Tolo so, for you. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also check out the comments below. And also check out our Patreon page. You've got loads of added benefits there if you become one of our patrons. So the most important thing is to stay safe out there.